Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Dr. Subhav Ramnani and today I'm going to give you a very solid reason to watch cartoons and basically animations to improve your grades in medical school. Yes, you heard that. Watching cartoons in medical school. Let's get on with it. So we all know those subjects, biochemistry, immunology, pharmacology, microbiology, those subjects which rely heavy on you learning some specific words like enzymes or uh, the bacteria name and basically if you remember those you can answer a lot of questions. Now I know there is a concept involved behind the bacteria or behind the you know the biochemical cycle or something but at the end of the day you do need to remember those enzyme words and bacteria and the whole for example glycolysis, Krebs cycle, HMP shunt and what all. So basically this is where video mnemonics come into play. Now you all know about mnemonics but what are video mnemonics? Video mnemonics are basically the same thing but in a visual way. So maybe there is a cartoon or an animation about describing a scene or a scenario which you can remember or relate to and that scene or scenario basically relates to your medical school study. So maybe there is a scene explaining glycolysis or the Krebs cycle which is hard to remember all the steps, all the enzymes and there is a scene and there are characters in those scenes and you can remember those scenes and characters to basically remember the cycle in your medical school. So that's how it works. So this platform is called Pixorize and you can find many such platforms. Pixorize is one of them. Pixorize is used by many students across the globe basically who are giving USMLE. Now yes you can use it in your medical school even if you're not giving USMLE because it has subjects like biochemistry, immunology, pharmacology, microbiology and neuroanatomy. So these five subjects are basically very rote memorization heavy subjects and Pixarize is basically just for that. Now that you have an idea about what are visual mnemonics, Pixarize basically has a catalog of those visual mnemonics based on your medical school studies. So as I said, it has five subjects, microbiology, pharmacology, immunology, biochemistry, and neuroanatomy, the root memorization heavy subjects. So how are these categorized? So let me give an example of let's say biochemistry. So it is categorized as you would categorize it in any books. There are chromosomal disorders, there is cell, there is DNA, there is nutrition, vitamins, metabolism, basically a standardized categorization you would find in any other book and you can search those videos. But what do you get when you click on that topic? For let's say for example, I want to learn the basic metabolic cycle which everyone, every medical student learns first which is glycolysis. So here I get three options. First I can see a write up about glycolysis like an overview I can just read no visual mnemonic I can just read what is glycolysis and just get an overview about it next is this video about glycolysis and you watch through the whole video you understand the scenes scenarios characters in the video and you relate it to the glycolysis cycle and that's how you remember the glycolysis cycle and the third thing you get on the topic is basically the final picture of the video. So you watch the whole video, all the characters and everything were introduced and you formed a final picture. So now you want to revise that final picture. You do not need to watch the whole video again. In that third part, you get the final picture and you can revise the picture. But more about it later. Let's break down these uh, point by point, one by one, starting with the video. So how are the videos? Videos are animated and they have a narrational voice and the narrator is trying to be humorous. By trying to be humorous, I mean they are humorous. So you basically remember those key enzymes or points. For example, if I just tell you randomly that, okay, fructose 6-phosphate is converted into fructose 1,6-bisphosphate by the enzyme phosphofructokinase 1. So it's hard to remember. But if I tell you a joke about it, there's a good chance you will remember it. So that's how they've placed the videos. They are trying to be funny. They are trying to crack a joke about the whole scenario or the scene. 
so this helps number one this is the first memory hook the other memory hooks they use for example they use repetitive uh, icons or repetitive images or repetitive uh, characters in different scenes so for example if for example in a scene vitamin b1 is used and also in another scene there is vitamin b1 by scene i mean a topic so you're watching a video about vitamin b1 and they introduce vitamin b1 as a honey bee which stands for b and one by gun because one and gun rhymes so you associate whenever there is a bee and a gun or a gun in with a bee design or oh, you think oh we are talking about vitamin b1 but if you're watching another video and vitamin b1 is involved they will use the same symbol so you associate a b gun with vitamin b1 and like so on and so forth they have b2 for b shoe b3 for b3 and they have various other symbols and characters like this and they are spread across all the scenes and by scenes i mean all the topics so this is the second memory hook they use which helps you to remember the information and the third memory hook they use that they have a story so you can remember the story so for example if i tell you a story you might remember it and again if i tell you a random enzyme and a step it's hard to remember so these are some of the memory hooks they try to use in these visual mnemonics so you remember those difficult words and difficult cycles i think uh, it's better if you watch one of those example videos they have on youtube and uh, you know get to know about it more rather than me explaining it but as a whole i can see three very common memory hooks as i told you repetitive signs symbols forming a story and humor and these three help me personally a lot now you might be wondering if i watch just cartoons and animations i will not get the real concept i will not get the you know the basic concept behind the rote memorization well that is not true because even before starting the visual mnemonic they first go through the explanation or sometimes in between they go through the explanation and give give you a basic basically to reach that level so that they can teach you the mnemonic again it's better to watch a tutorial video but i'm giving you a brief idea here that before starting the video on glycolysis they would probably tell you what is glycolysis how you know why do you need glycolysis and then start about the you know memorizing the cycle so it's not like it's just for memorization it's also for understanding one interesting thing i adore about pixarize is compared to other platforms which offer the same visual mnemonics is they also include for example real life pictures for example if the disease is uh, if you're talking about vitamin b3 deficiency and you're talking about pellagra and you're talking there is dermatitis so they will actually show a picture of how dermatitis looks so that is also you can say another memory hook that is the real you know the disease how it presents so sometimes they also use that to reinforce okay you don't just remember the cartoon just for the sake of remembering dermatitis but you should also recognize okay dermatitis looks like this when it is due to vitamin b3 deficiency so this is an interesting feature i haven't really found in other platforms offering the same visual mnemonics okay so let's now talk about the notes or the write up section of the topic so here you can see the brief overview on the topic for example taking the example of uh, glycolysis you can see what is glycolysis why do we need and also the whole cycle broken down into points so just let's say if that video did not click or you did not resonate with that video or uh, just that particular video like you like visual mnemonics you are on the platform but that video just did not click you also have the option to just you know uh, go through it point wise and try to remember it from there and get the basics or the concept from there i how do i use it i will tell you that in the next segment but yeah the write up section is very useful for that and the third is the final picture or the final scene you form at the end of the video so basically this last screen has dots on it and when you hover your mouse on the dots it tells you what that character meant in the whole story so you can quickly revise it and yeah that's basically it the three parts uh, which pixarize offers when you click on a topic now let's talk about something else
drawbacks or you can say the features i would like were there or you can say the features which are missing so let's start with this basically whoever studies for us emily they use first aid book as a structure so for example if your first aid book has these topics you must study these topics if you're preparing for us emily so usually platforms have this uh, for example whenever they have a topic let's say for example boards and beyonds have this like if you're studying glycolysis from boards and beyond it has mentioned okay first aid uh, page number 315 that's where you can find glycolysis if you want to study from the first aid book so basically how that works is you watch the video and then you can go to your first aid book and read about it or vice versa you read about it first in your first aid book and then you watch the video so that's helpful so i it would be great if the if the videos they have should also have a first aid page number mentioned for example this is in first aid page number 359 of edition 2021 and 2020 is this page 2019 is this page so on and so forth you get the idea that's how it is used so that's a feature i found like it's missing and it would be great to have it and maybe you know you never know they get it in a future update another thing i found not really appealing is the dashboard section so basically on any platform the dashboard section is to get you where you left so if i was watching for example video a when i log into the platform again and the home screen is basically the dashboard section i should be able to continue from there continue from where i left or it should show me the next video which is on their list after i have watched video a now the dashboard section in pixarize is not basically that it is just a a set page which is visible to all people and not catered specifically to them so for example i would like the dashboard page to be catered to me if i'm not studying neuroanatomy from pixarize if i'm just studying biochemistry i want the next next up video in biochemistry right in my dashboard so i don't have to go to biochemistry and then to the video i have to watch it just the the process is smooth it's on my dashboard the next video here you can watch it right now so this is like a feature it will not help you improve your studies but yeah it makes the process easier now let's talk about how i use pixarize with my us emily preparation so i basically use the first aid book as a structure and here i have my first aid book i actually have broken down the books and taken down into pages so here is my biochemistry uh, booklet you can say so what i do is i just go through the structure of uh, the first aid for example if i go to the metabolism section i see there are cycles first and let's say there is glycolysis first so i will watch the glycolysis video first rather than following the structure of pixarize that's how i use it that's what works for me because i use first aid as a structure but you can definitely use the uh, categorization provided by pixarize that's absolutely fine the next thing what i do is i watch the video i do not go through that right up because uh, you know i just watch the video first because i have already looked at the first aid and the key points in it then i watch the video i re- i try to remember all the symbols and signs and then i go to the third part to revise the final picture and i basically treat it as a mini active recall so i go on the image and i uh, hover on the characters of the image and before i could see the answer i just remember oh this was this and this was this and the next part i do which is another amazing feature and probably my best feature of pixarize is i unlock anki cards related to that video so yes pixarize if you go to this extra section it has an update its own anki deck so if you're using the most popular deck available out there for us emily which is the anking deck it has tags for that you can just download this file and import it in your anking deck and you will get all the tags of pixarize videos there so the process will go like this you will just uh, watch the video and unlock the cards related to that video 
uh, it makes the whole process smooth you do not have to search for the cards in your anki if you are an anki user or even if you don't use anki they have their own cards their own anki deck so if you're an anki user uh, and you want to use visual mnemonics pixorize is an amazing platform to do that because they have their own deck which you get with the subscription or basically their own tags which you get with the subscription so that's what i do and that's how i study from pixorize now let's come to the pricing options so how expensive or how cheap is pixorize so i would say pixorize is on the cheaper side when you compare it to other platforms offering the same visual mnemonics for example sketchy sketchy is i'm getting a phone call sorry hello hello good evening sir yes so where was i yes pricing so i would say pixorize is uh, more towards the cheaper side of the pricing or a nominal side i would say when compared to other platforms offering the same uh content of visual mnemonics for example let's compare it to sketchy here sketchy is one of the more popular platform for visual mnemonics and it has subscriptions like this and as you can see i cannot really uh specifically choose if i just want you know sketchy farm or sketchy micro which that's that should be an option there but you can uh, buy the sketchy subscription just as a whole for example the whole usmly step 1 pack or step 2 pack which they now have but in pixorize you can buy uh, individual subjects for example if i just want biochemistry i can just go for biochemistry and that's great and even though overall package is um, uh, slightly cheaper than the sketchy ones again i'm just comparing two platforms which offer the same content of a visual mnemonics so yeah this is how the pricing looks for the pixorize platform and yes because i have a review i contacted them and i got an additional discount so you can use this code and get an additional discount on pixorize platform and i would highly suggest you first watch the free youtube videos and see if you get the hang of visual mnemonics and if you like it well and good go ahead and purchase a subscription and you can get an additional discount i'll drop it down in the description box below and also in the first pinned comment and yeah that's pretty much about it and if you like this video don't forget to drop a thumbs up and share your thoughts if you if you are a sketchy user or a pixelized user or if you like visual mnemonics in general and yeah if you love the video don't forget to click the subscribe button and see more videos like this more reviews like this and that's been it <coughs> what was it and that's been it stay safe stay happy and stay mad but just about medicine <laughs>